I don't know who this man is, but I think I just felt my vagina seal shut forever. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just witnessed is me being bullied on Twitter by a verified feminist gender goblin. And that is just the tip of the iceberg of hate I've shouldered these past several days. Those of you that follow me on my other socials may be aware that I sparked quite a debate this week about proper toilet seat etiquette in the home and what is considered a fair arrangement between partners. For context, this is the video in question. If I put the seat up to urinate and then put it down after I'm done, at your request, that is two seat repetitions per urinary event. This arrangement means that if you go into the bathroom, you can just sit down and urinate and leave with zero seat repetitions per urinary event. Would it not then be a fair and equitable marriage arrangement, creating a scenario where we are both responsible for only one seat repetition per urinary event? And she's gone. The response has been nothing short of remarkable. Over 10 million views on TikTok in three days, reaching the front page of Reddit and getting millions of views and quote tweets on Twitter. It's clear that I struck a nerve in the hearts of men everywhere that are tired of unfair expectations in the bathroom and women who feel exposed for basking in the convenience of this injustice for far too long. White man feels oppressed by toilet seat expectations. I mean, to make this issue about my skin color is not only dismissive of men everywhere, but frankly disgusting coming from an intersectional feminist she, her role model that I would hope would practice the tolerance she claims to stand for. Now, many of you have asked if I'm okay after witnessing the deluge of vile comments being made about me recently. People calling me insane, fragile, insufferable, insinuating my mere existence is worthy of necessitating an apocalypse. I want you to know that your concern means the world to me, and while the wounds are still fresh, I find strength in knowing that so many of you out there that have been living in silence may finally have the courage to stand up for yourself and create a more equitable toilet seat arrangement in your own homes. The first item I'd like to address directly is the people in disbelief that I could take a seemingly petty and innocuous issue like this so seriously. And all I can say to that is, wake the fuck up. The burden of responsibility culturally betrothed upon men, young and old, continues to grow more disproportionate with each passing year. And where might I ask, should we draw the line? Toilet seat etiquette may seem trivial to the unobservant, but tomorrow it could be the mere essence of masculinity at stake. The second thing I must address is a widely parroted solution I've seen in response to the toilet seat repetition inequality, and that is, and I can't believe I'm saying this, for a man to pee sitting down. Just sit down to pee, bro, it's not that hard. My pious brother in Christ. Sitting down for a urine-only event is akin to a lion willingly shaving the mane off his own back. To deny the God-given gift of convenient upright urination is not only emasculating, but a slap in the face to the image in which God made us. All these alleged men willing to admit this behavior online as if to say, hey, look at me, I'm a second-class citizen that urinates sitting down, only perpetuates my belief that there truly is no competition left in the jungle. And if you're a lion, your belly will stay full. Finally, an equally concerning practice I was made aware of is that certain individuals are advocating for putting the top lid down before every single flush because pee and poo particles go everywhere when you flush. Uh, I can feel testosterone leaving my body just entertaining this absurdity as if I'm some microbiologist that should waste my valuable energy worrying about air particles in my bathroom when a toilet flushes. Do I look like I wear a lab coat when I shit? I am far too busy executing and planning my next global conquest to give a single solitary fuck if a particle of shit parks itself on my toothbrush. In fact, I would gargle my own piss if it meant I never have to read another suggestion as pathetic as that one. <sighs> my brothers and sisters, the groundwork has been laid and it is up to you and I to continue building the foundation upon which fairness and equality can thrive. Your presence here is a step in the right direction, but our work is just getting started. On the surface, this issue may seem small, but Chrissy Teigen already found a way to make it about herself. So that's historically a pretty good indicator that progress is being made. And while I'm far too humble to call myself a martyr or a revolutionary, my sense of duty implores me to ask for your subscription to this YouTube channel, which will help me find strength as I fortify the front lines on this battlefield of public opinion. Thank you.